Welcome back to Mad Props. Yeah, that was an exciting entry into this adventure we're about to have together at Mad Props. Thank you guys for joining us again. Thank you for listening. Thank you for everything you've done. I am Chris Schnabel, your host. We appreciate you being here. Today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about the podcast awards. We're going to talk a little bit about um, the the uh, recent times for me. And we're going to do a really fun list. But first, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Mad Props Pod. And if you want everything, everything, follow Schnabel Studios on uh, Instagram, Facebook, X, slash Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Um, we do, again, we do not have a Twitter anymore for Mad Props. That is now just Schnabel Studios. You can get all the cool updates and stuff like that. Uh, make sure you follow that. We appreciate you guys uh, tuning into the last episode. Very high download rate. Um, really excited to see that. Uh, really excited that so many people tuned in. A lot of comments and stuff like that. People talking, text, everything. I, I really appreciate everybody coming through and talking and stuff like that. So thank you so much for listening to the last episode. You can always find them on YouTube or on Spotify, Apple, Good Pods, or wherever you get your podcasts. Go ahead and share, like, comment five stars, whatever, and subscribe, obviously. And definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel as well because that is where a lot more stuff is going to be put. Um, We're we're doing a lot of big things um, behind the scenes for Schnabel Studios, and that's where it's all going to go. So make sure you follow Schnabel Studios on YouTube. Okay. So this may not be the longest episode ever of Mad Props. I don't... I honestly don't know how long it will be um, as an episode, but it may not be the longest episode. Um, It's been a really long weekend for me, a really fun weekend for me. If you follow Schnabel Studios, you've seen all the shoots we've been on um, with the production company. Um, It's just been a really good time, and it's just been tiring. Uh, this is the this is the night before this is gonna go out. It's Tuesday, currently Tuesday night. This goes out Wednesday morning, um, and I'm out here recording because I want to make sure I get an episode out there. You know, I, I'm always trying to make sure we get the episodes out. We get them. We get them. We get them. Uh, <laughs> we get them out. We get them to you. Um, we stay consistent and we try not to be late or anything like that. But as you could tell, like a little bit behind me, if you're watching on YouTube right now or if you're listening, I can explain it. There's a drone. And there's a camera. Um, there's a good amount of stuff behind me right now. All my production equipment is all over the office. Um, literally, I don't even want to turn the camera around. It's everywhere. Uh, it's it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. But it's a mess because uh, we just got back from production today and went straight back to work for the full time job. Um, and then you know got to hit the gym. And now here we are. That's literally the day. If you want to know how Tuesday was, it was go to the shoot, go to work, real work after that, go to the gym, go for a run, come in here and record. So it's been a long day pretty tired and i just want to get one out there so i got i do have a fun list we're gonna do i can't wait to do it we're gonna do a a 2k basketball list that you're really gonna like i I already know you're gonna like it uh, especially if you play 2k basketball uh but really quick we can go over the shoots i don't want to talk too much about them um i know we do we have a lot of podcasts that go deep into the shoots and if you guys really do want to hear more about it just comment hey we want to hear about that or or tell us more about it in a a future podcast we can talk about it even though it'll be a little past when it happened if you want to see some behind the scenes photos go follow schnabel studios because there's a lot of them out there with it so this weekend um i did two shoots I actually shot again with uh, Jason Page, which, you know, there's a whole podcast on shooting with Jason Page before, and uh, he's a great dude. Him and Ryan are great people, and I got to shoot with them again at Collecticon Dallas-Fort Worth. It was at the Fort Worth Convention Center. Um, It was a crazy time. I I did very much consider coming on here and telling stories about that, but I'm just not. It's okay. I do that too much. Um, But it was a crazy time. Um got to meet a lot of cool people, got to make a lot of cool connections. It was a very long days. Uh, a lot of editing is going to be happening in the next couple days to get stuff out to him and make sure that he gets everything he needs from that shoot. But uh, as always, Jason, you're the man. Really appreciate you, Ryan. You're a great dude, too. Appreciate you. Um, and we got to meet some cool people. Met Travi McCoy. We, we all had dinner together. 
Uh, he's he was a great dude. He was an awesome guy. He actually lives by my parents in New York, which I thought was hilarious. Um, and yeah, it was a really good time, really good weekend, and really enjoyed it. But that it, it didn't end there. You know, it's like Saturday um, was a f- you know I had to wake up at five a.m. and I didn't go to sleep until about three a.m. that night, and then I woke up again around five thirty a.m. Um, on Sunday, and I didn't go to sleep until probably about 11 p.m. on Sunday, maybe a little earlier than that. I may have crashed pretty early on Saturday when I got home. Um, and then I went to the shoot. I had to be up Monday again, like 5.30 a.m., uh, came home, went right back to my full-time job, and I, I passed out after that. I think I fell asleep at 9.30 on Monday, and then I uh, wake up again like 5.30, 6 o'clock. I think it was 5.30 every day. I woke up at 5.30 on Tuesday, and I get back again. I already told you, went back to my full-time job for a couple hours. Um, and shout-out to Fresh Content Society as well for giving me the opportunity to go out there and do what I did and, and, and be able to record and do these cool, cool events. So thank you guys for that as well. Okay, so... Uh, it was a great, great time. So Monday and Tuesday, uh, Monday shoot, I shot with Ezekiel Elliott, the running back of the Dallas Cowboys. Also, he was on the Patriots for a little bit, but he's known for being on the Dallas Cowboys. It was really cool, really fun. Um, and then on Tuesday, today, my shoot was with Dak Prescott, again with the Cowboys, obviously, quarterback of the Cowboys. Um, really fun times. Uh, Zeke was really cool. He was the man. Um, really enjoyed, I really enjoyed shooting with him. Uh, Dak was also a really good dude. I enjoyed shooting with him as well, but it was just a long, long weekend. And uh, now we're here. We're we're through it for a little bit. We have another pretty big shoot coming up at the end of the month. Another shoot coming up um, at the also at the end of the month, going into next month. So we got some more stuff coming up. So follow Schnabel Studios. You'll see all this stuff. And if you guys want to hear more about the shoots, we can talk more about the shoots in a different date. But I didn't want to go too much into detail with the shoots because um, I just don't think we need to. I just don't think we need to. I think I do. I think I do that too much for people's liking or for my liking. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, that was that. That was that whole weekend. And now I'm pretty tired. And now I'm back here. The thing I do really want to talk about today, um, and this will probably take up a bulk of the time, other than the songs thing, that might take up a little bit of time. Um, but oh, I just ruined the surprise of what it was. Oh well. Um, so I. Uh, I, I we got nominated. Sorry, we got nominated for a podcast award from the podcast awards. Actually, we got nominated for three awards. So the awards we were nominated for. Let me let me go back to the beginning here. On 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 July first, we were nominated for three podcast awards: best host for uh, best male host, best podcast in society and culture, and then the People's Choice Award, which all podcasts that are nominated go into the People's Choice Award. You can go right now to podcastawards.com, sign up, and nominate or vote for Mad Props with Chris Schnabel in those three categories. And the finalists will be announced later on for who, you know, goes on to win a podcast award. The first thing I want to say about this is, like, even if we don't make it to the next round, even if we don't make it to a finalist, even if we don't win, uh, for Mad Props to be able to be recognized and be one of these podcasts on this list is amazing. Um, th- this has been a lot of hard work. Obviously, it's had its ups and downs, and you know we, we've had a lot of hiatuses. We've had a lot of coming back and moving and doing all this stuff. So really, to, to, be, uh, to be nominated for an award like this, is uh, it, it's a big deal for me. And for one to be the best male host is cool. And then, again, just to be named best podcast in society and culture, which is what this podcast is labeled under on Spotify, Apple, Good Pods, and everything else. It, it just – it's unbelievable. And I want to thank everybody listening and everybody that follows and everybody that's going to hear this on Instagram or anybody that will hear this on, on, on Twitter or Facebook or wherever you see it or if you're listening or if you're watching, I want to thank everybody because it's, it's because of the people that listen to this podcast that it can be nominated for anything. And um, a lot of hard work does go into this podcast, even though there's a lot of them just like this one where I come on, I'm like, hey, guys, this is going to be a short one. But a lot of hard work does go into this. There's a lot of stuff that goes into the post-production of this podcast, trust me, and it being a one-man crew for now. Um, I really appreciate 
anybody and everybody that's voted, anybody and everybody that listens, and anybody and everybody that supports this podcast through and through. So thank you guys so much. Um, on top of that, though, so we were nominated for these awards, um, the three awards I, I said before, Best Male Host, Best Podcast in Culture and Society, and Best um, and People's Choice Award for Best Podcast. We were nominated for th- these three awards. You can go to podcast, uh, podcastawards.com, and they're going to make you sign up, which a lot, I know a lot of people are a little frustrated. You've got to register, but they want to put you on their mailing list, I imagine. And you, <laughs> and then you're gonna go on there, and you're gonna, sign and you're gonna vote. You can vote for Mad Props. You can not vote for Mad Props. I mean, I'd be sad, but if you want, if one of your other favorite shows is on there, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna discourage you. I'm not gonna say don't do it. I think you should vote with your heart, and I'd hope your heart leads Mad Props because you're listening to this right now. If you hear this going on, you know what I mean. So um, you could do that. You could also go to the link in our bio. We have it in the link in our bio. So just head to the bio. Doesn't matter if you're seeing this on Schnabel Studios or if you're seeing this on Mad Props. Go to the bio, click the bio. You'll see it right there. Podcast Awards, vote Mad Props. Click that, and then go vote for Mad Props. I would love to see this move on, but again, like I said, I'm just so happy that we made it this far to the point where it's being recognized for anything. It's it's really fantastic, and I really appreciate everybody that's done it. And um, you know, when I first when we first started this podcast, I did it because I missed being on the radio, <laughs> and. Uh, podcasts were kind of getting bigger and bigger and I just had better opportunities to do stuff like this and I really was worried for a while there when I couldn't get as many guests as I used to but um, y- y'all listening you really you really pulled through for me and you showed even if it's just me on the mic I could do this and I've tried some co-hosts and I, I actually have tried to get people on past Ray and, and Josh and all of them and uh, I just haven't been able to find the right partner, and I was very worried about going solo, and the fact that people, you know, still want to listen. I thank everybody that does that, and I, I thank, count my blessings every day with that stuff, because I, I really do feel blessed when I see how many downloads we get compared to what I would really think we were going to get. So thank you guys for listening. Please, please, please go vote for Mad Props on the podcast awards. The link is in the bio. The link is in the description. Or... You can just go to podcastawards.com and go vote for Mad Props with Chris Schnabel. Okay, so I know this isn't going to be a long podcast. I think it's only been like 10 minutes. It's been 13 minutes on recording. I don't know how long the actual episode is going to be for you right now, um, but it's going to be something close to that. The only other thing I had, and I thought of this idea because I knew it was going to be a short podcast. All right, so I was like, this is not going to be long. I need something fun to end it with. I can't just go promote my go vote. You know, I did this. I hung out with Travis McCoy. Go vote for me. I can't do that. So I decided um, I was listening to I was playing 2K and I was thinking of the music. And I thought of um, I thought of that song from I don't even know what 2K it's from. Unfortunately, I did my research and I forgot. And I have the name of the song right here in front of me. And um, let's see, it says this song came out 15 years ago. So it's 24, you're talking 14, you're talking 2K9-ish. So 2K8, 2K9, 2K10, somewhere in that area is this song. It's called Pennies by the Cool Kids. And I always, whenever I think of 2K, I think of 2K, do, 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 2K, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do sports. And um, I know that you know, I think of the first lyrics and everything, and I, I could not remember the name of the song for the life of me. I just remember the song has all of the teams in it somewhere. Now, I don't know if the one I found is the song I'm thinking of, because I remember just listening to it before this podcast. I don't remember it going 2K, do, 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 2K. So I think that may have been like a 2K remix of this song, but it's by the Cool Kids, obviously. And uh, that made me think like, so what are the songs? Five songs that scream, scream 2K. Like when they come on, I don't think like, oh, that's this song. Like, I think, oh, this song's from 2K. 
And that doesn't, when you're listening to this list, that doesn't necessarily mean you haven't heard it outside. You may have heard it first somewhere else. But when I hear the song, I immediately think of 2K because it just had such an impact in the 2K games that it, it had a lasting it had a lasting presence for me. And I always come back to it now in the 2K games. So I have six here. So I'm going to do, I, I was going to do a top five. But should I do a top six? Because I have six I really, really, really want to include. Yeah, let's do a six. I, and we'll just like six of, let's do a five, but six and five are basically five, okay? So not much explanation is going to go into this. I'm just going to list them off, basically, all right? Sorry, that's going to be a lot shorter than when we did the other top fives. It's too bad. Okay, so number five, tied at number five is Amazing by Kanye West and I'm a Boss by Meek Mill. Now, both of those songs I've heard before 2K. I think they both... I'm a Boss may have come on 2K at the same time it came out, but I know I know that Amazing came out before it was on 2K. But anytime it comes on, I just think of the 2K loading screen or the 2K menu screen because it's just so so together with the 2k games like i i think that's what i think when i hear it i'm like this song was in 2k i totally remember that and i'm a boss um i don't know why but every time you left a game or something i felt like it always came on and because in a certain point in 2k every time you switched menus it seemed like the song changed and I'm a Boss just distinctly came out as like, a, oh, like this is a 2K song. I totally remember this in 2K, um, which is funny because before 2K, I just thought of it as a pretty hype song. But now I think of it very much as a 2K song. So those are kind of tied um, on my list. So now we're going to go number four. Let me see. Let me, let me make sure I got one, two, three, and four. Okay, so number four is going to be We Major by Kanye West. So there's two Kanye songs on here already. Um, it's another one that came out before 2K. But man, I feel like, you know, there's some songs on 2K, especially the older ones. I feel like they just played more than other ones. But I think this one shouts 2K because, again, it's almost like I'm a boss where it's like very loud, right? It's like in your face loud so you recognize it doesn't blend into the back like there are some songs that blend into the back in 2k you don't even realize they're playing you maybe just vibing or something and then there's the songs that just pop and this one was always one to me that just popped and i think the reason i have it at number four is not because i think it's the fourth best song coming up I just think maybe it's a little bit like not as synonymous with 2K as the rest of these. Like the next three on this are like 100% 2K. Actually, number two and number one. Number two could be number one because it's completely synonymous with 2K. But I'm going to put it in number two because number one to me is like goat tier 2K song. And I think it's one of the few songs they've had in multiple 2Ks. So anyway, We Major um, is number four. And I oh, the other point I had with why I think it's so synonymous with 2K and so many people remember it in 2K, the song's really long. So like <laughs> the song being really long, like there's more to listen to. So when it comes on, I think it's like a seven and a half minute song. So it makes sense that you would, um, you would hear more of it. So number three, we got Blow the Whistle by Too Short. Um, I, I knew who Too Short was um, when I heard the song on 2K. I didn't know many of his songs. I wasn't really a Too Short fan or anything like that. Like, I knew he existed. That's about it. Um, it's the only Too Short song I really thoroughly enjoy, I think. Uh, I still am not a big Too Short fan, but I didn't hear, I, I didn't know it existed until 2K. So this might just be my, my ignorance why it's there. But I think if I were to ask other people, like, to blow the whistle by Too Short, what's it remind you of? They would say 2K. Like, nobody, I don't think anybody would go out there and be like, oh, yeah, I used to listen to that all the time. And then they put it in 2K. Like, maybe some old heads might do that. But I don't think anybody I would talk to would do that. So that is number three for me. It screams 2K to me. Again, it's another one that's kind of loud in your face, right? And that's why I would be there. 
Number two. This one is the one that's synonymous with 2K. It is Mr. Ron Artest. It is Champions. It's the only song I think I know from Ron Artest, and the only reason I'd ever know it exists is because it was in 2K. Um, it goes, moment of silence for the champions, the ones that make it more than a life. So I don't know how the lyrics go. It's something like that. But anyway, um, this was maybe even made strictly for 2K, or maybe because they just won the NBA championship when it happened. I know he was on the Lakers. Um, it's called Champions. I imagine it was made sometime in between when he won a championship. Um, definitely before Metal World Peace, because it says by Ron Artest. Um, why they included this in 2K, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe just because it's Ron Artest and he was also in the game, and that's kind of fun for them. Um, but, man, if you if you think of, a, like, 2K songs, you're like, oh, yeah, Champions by Ron Artest. Like, I remember that was in there. Remember how funny that was, that there was a Ron Artest song squeezed in there with Jay-Z, Drake, and, <laughs> and all these other people? Um, so that one's, like I said, it goes hand in hand with 2K, so I have it at number two. Uh, but number one, and the reason this is number one is because I think this is, like, one of the best songs to ever be on 2K. And that's a, that's a tall statement. It's a tall statement. Um, but I also think this song is so well known to be a 2K song. And it's been in multiple 2Ks, which are not a lot of songs that have been in multiple 2Ks. Only a few have reached that level, right? Um, it's Little by Little by the Chronicones, it looks like it's by. I may be messing that up, and I'm sorry if I'm messing that up. Um, to this day, I listen to this song, like, in my, when I'm just listening to music. It's just such a good song. The beat is so memorable. The hook is memorable. But also, like, the first two Kate was in was maybe almost 10 years ago, I would say. And they brought it back. They may have brought it back twice, honestly. And you just listen to it. And now you're not only making new memories of Little by Little with the new 2Ks, but you're, like, nostalgically bringing back old memories of when 2K was really, really good. And it wasn't all about microtransactions. And, like, I don't know. It's just such a good 2K song. And, yeah, you may have heard it before, but I'm guaranteeing a majority of the people that know now, now know that song did not hear it before it was in 2K. So, to me, that is the number one 2K song. If you disagree or if you want to drop some that you think you – that are, or if you want to drop some songs in the comments that you love – from 2K, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Let us know because we want to know what you think are the best 2K songs. Um, but really, that's it for the podcast. It's a short one, short and sweet, easy to listen to. Um, we really appreciate everybody that listens to the podcast that came out or to listen, came out. Where'd y'all go? Uh, that listens to the podcast, that watches the podcast. It's, it's getting clear, probably, the people listening or watching that I need to go to sleep. <laughs> and um, it's, it's, it's getting to that point. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Schnabel Studios on YouTube. Su subscribe to this. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to this on YouTube. If you're listening, subscribe on, in on Instagram. Jeez. Subscribe on Spotify, Apple, Good Pods, or wherever you get your podcasts. Also, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Mad Props Pod, and follow Schnabel Studios on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, slash X, LinkedIn, YouTube, and on TikTok to get all of the Schnabel Studios updates and the fun things we're doing. And and we are going to start doing giveaways. You know what? For I don't know when this giveaway is going to start, okay? Maybe we'll promote it a little bit. We are giving away a signed Dak Prescott mini helmet. This is going to be a giveaway on Schnabel Studios. If you want to stay updated, if this is something you are interested in, make sure you follow Schnabel Studios because this can be yours. Thank you, Dak Prescott, for this helmet. Anyway, um, 
Make sure you guys follow Schnabel Studios. You can win stuff like that. And we have other giveaways that are going to be coming up very soon. Um, and you don't want to miss out on any of it. So make sure you follow Schnabel Studios, baby. Thank you guys for listening. I'm not going to ramble any longer or keep anybody any longer. Thank you guys for listening. We appreciate you being here. This has been Mad Props. We will see you next time on Mad Props. See you later. Peace.